We're small enough that we know all of our kids. We can tailor their education for what they really want to do after high school. And I think building those relationships and knowing the kids, we have a great idea of where they want to go and we can provide them with the opportunities to get them there. Whether that's for college, whether it's the military, if it's going into the workforce, if it's going into a two-year program, we know our kids good enough that we can tailor their educational experience at GR to give them the best opportunities to be successful after high school. We're going to the trimester system to get uh, kids an opportunity to have a little longer of a class period. So we're going to be going about 60 minutes for a class period, which is really a good length, and have them there for 60 days instead of the traditional 90 days. Opportunities they'll get 18 class periods instead of the previous 16. Trimester schedules gives us better opportunities with scheduling, gives us more flexibility. It ties right in with the Western Outreach Center, that a great place where students can get college level credits. The Western Outreach Center is a, is a collaborative effort with neighboring districts and Hawkeye Community College that GR is involved with. It offers our students the opportunity to earn up to 18 credits that qualify as both college and high school credits during both their junior and senior year. So a student can graduate from GR with a total of 36 college credits. It hits both the technical side through programs like Project Lead the Way and healthcare programming, as well as kind of those upper academic courses in science, math, and English. You know, the, the benefit to, to our students and parents is one is the learning opportunity that our students get to really dive into college level courses while they're still in high school, but there's also a fiscal benefit to parents also. The student walking out of their high school, GR, with 36 credits, that's 36 they don't have to buy from an institution later. And at the same time, our district receives supplementary weighting that helps us offset cost to the district to pay for those courses. So it's really a win-win for the district and for our students and parents. Our expectations for our students are, are very high and that's something that is reflective not only of our students but on the community as a whole is that we want our students to be successful and to be successful obviously we expect a lot out of them. One of the things we talk about in our building is doing things the rebel way. R stands for respect, the E stands for effort, the B stands for brand, the other E is for enthusiasm and the L is for lesson learned. Uh, and that's just how we, ex we expect our students to live that way and if they can do that, great things are going to happen for them. I don't spend much time in class saying, hey, uh, can you uh, be a little bit more respectful for, for your fellow students? That doesn't seem to happen as much as maybe at other places that I might have been. I can spend a lot of my time just teaching and getting to know the kids and, and talking to them. And they also are very welcoming to new students and saying, hey, this is how this goes and this is what we do and, and why don't you join us? And I've been in some schools where we could only have maybe one or two teams and then we had to cut kids because there was too many kids coming out and not enough funding to, to fund the sports. Well, there's no cut policy here in a sense. We don't need to. I mean, we have a lot of kids go out and I coach boys basketball. We have three teams and everybody gets an opportunity to play on their level to the point where they can play in, in multiple levels if needed. They're helping each other out and they're, some of them are stronger in one than the other, but everyone seems to get the opportunity to play and get, get the chance. In a bigger school, I think sometimes students are, are less willing to, to get involved um, because of the, the sheer numbers of people that are participating. Our students know that they're going to be accepted into those different organizations. If you're quote unquote a jock and are just for athletics, you can go out for the play and that's not something that's frowned upon. Um, all of our students feel that they can be involved in a number of different things and be accepted into those different opportunities. You know, I think it just goes back to that, that caring, challenging culture to realize that if they work hard and work together with others well, they're gonna be successful and can reach any of their dreams. And I think a lot of that comes back to how we approach it as a staff, um, as a we. It's not one person's job to crank out a classroom of kids. It's how we as a district work with our students and approach it. And I think that carries over into how students work with staff and with each other.